to our grand tour of South America, as this week we head south from Lima towards the beautiful Sacred Valley. Pizac is one of the most famous market towns in Peru and the Cusco region. It draws many visitors each week to what can only be described as a colourful and authentic experience. It's a place where indigenous Quechua communities travel to sell their wares and also stock up on supplies. However, a large proportion of the market is dedicated to tourists and souvenirs from this part of the world. The market is open daily and you'll find some savvy vendors as you wander around, so try a little haggling over some of the prices. If you have time, there is a path that leads from the square to a hilltop in Citadel, with ancient temples and the Intihuatana stone structure thought to have been a sundial. Views from the top stretch across the Quita Mayo Gorge and the surrounding valley. This beautiful town's history is sketchy, with no one really knowing when it was constructed. Although it's doubtful it was pre-Incan times, so likely not before the 15th century. Researchers believe that Pizac defended the southern entrance to the Sacred Valley, and Inca Pizac, its official name, controlled a route which connected the Inca Empire with the border of the rainforest. Francisco Pizarro and the Spanish conquerors destroyed Inca Pizac in the early 1530s, and the modern town of Pizac was built in the valley by Viceroy Toledo during the 1570s. Our journey continues, situated within the Andes mountain range. This is the Sacred Valley. The town of Olante Tambo dates back to the empire of the Incans, when this was the royal estate of Emperor Pachacuti, who conquered the area and built it along with a ceremonial centre. The main settlement at Olante Tambo has an orthogonal layout with four longitudinal streets crossed by seven parallel streets. At the centre of this grid, the Incas built a large plaza that may have been up to four blocks large. It was open to the east and surrounded by halls and other town blocks on its other three sides. Dating from the late 15th century, it has some of the oldest continuously occupied dwellings in South America. At the time of the Spanish conquest, it was used as a stronghold for Manco Inca Yupanqui, who was leader of the resistance. Today, however, it's an important tourist attraction on account of the ruins and the official start of the hike, known as the Inca Trail.
Temple Hill on which the Incas built a ceremonial centre. The part of the hill facing the town is occupied the terraces of Pumatalis, framed on both flanks by rocky outcrops. Although it's commonly known as the fortress, this is a misnomer, as the main functions of this site were religious. The main access to the ceremonial centre is a series of stairways that climb to the top of the terrace complex. The Incas built several storehouses out of field stones on the hills surrounding Olante Tambo. Climb to the top to see the main structure of the whole sector, the Sun Temple, an uncompleted building which features the wall of the six monoliths. The unfinished structures at the Temple Hill and the numerous stone blocks that litter the site indicate that it was still undergoing construction at the time of its abandonment. At the base of the ruins, other buildings and structures can be seen including a fountain, which is known as the Bath of the Princess. Volante Tambo is a place to let your ideas and thoughts drift by as you watch the changing colours of this historic Incan site as the sun slips behind the mountains. For anyone taking this trip, we thought this would be a great idea to show some of the accommodation we stayed at en route. Our hotel was the Casa Andina Premium and Sacred Valley, a beautiful hotel that gives a feel of tranquility in the mountains. With a privileged location, it has fabulous views of the Andes from every room. Inside our room, there were two full-size beds, a safety box, a bathtub and shower, free Wi-Fi, desk, a coffee kit, heating, and even an air dryer. The Alma restaurant prepares its cuisine with exquisite Peruvian roots and influences from around the world. A cosy hotel with a design inspired by the locality and rustic touches. In total there's 91 rooms and within them a selection of villas, Andean cottages with outdoor shower that allows you, the visitor, to enjoy the peace, energy and calm of the sacred valley while enjoying the views of the surrounding area. For services, they include a free Wi-Fi connection, room service, a breakfast buffet with free internet centre, an event room, sauna, spa and gym, and parking and transportation is available. The hotel and grounds were a beautiful option to rest up before our trip to Machu Picchu. Finally, take a walk around the beautiful gardens. You might even come across the most lovable creatures in this part of the world, the alpaca. Coming up next time on our South American adventure. Tickets at the ready, it's the big one. We visit Machu Picchu.